It is my pleasure to introduce uh, Chief Justice Lance Finch tonight. Uh, Sam has constrained us to be very brief in our introductions, almost to the point of being instantaneous. So what follows is a very brief introduction. Uh, <clears throat> Chief Justice Finch uh, was granted his LLB at the University of British Columbia in 1962 and called to the Bar of British Columbia in 1963. He was in private practice uh, for 20 years from 1963 to 1983 at the law firm of Guild Ewell. He was appointed judge of the Supreme Court of British Columbia in 1983 and remained there for 10 years. In 1993, he was made a judge of the Court of Appeal uh, and in the year 2001, he was made Chief Justice of the Court of Appeal. He holds an honorary law degree from the University of British Columbia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Justice Lance Finch. This year, 2010, is a year of 100th anniversaries. It's the 100th anniversary of the Pacific National Exhibition. It's the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Canadian Navy and it's the 100th anniversary of the British Columbia Court of Appeal. The court's original four judges heard the first case in Victoria on January 4th, 1910. At that time, the review of trial judgments by an appellate court was a relatively new innovation in the English common law world. Creation of a Court of Appeal in British Columbia was a step being taken by other provinces at about the same time. At that time, the Vancouver Courthouse, that, that is in 1910, the Vancouver Courthouse was located at Victory Square on Hastings Street. A new courthouse was proposed, which is the building that now houses the Vancouver Art Gallery at 800 West Georgia Street. There was a lot of opposition to the choice of this site for a courthouse. In the early 1900s, the property was then on the very outskirts of the city and thought by some to be too far from the center of things. That's Hornby in Georgia. <laughs> and in the far right corner, I think you can make out Christchurch Cathedral. In 1906, the province held a competition for the architectural design of the courthouse. The competition was won by Francis Rattenbury, who deserves a whole evening unto himself, who had previously designed the Parliament buildings and, of course, the Empress Hotel in Victoria. In 1907, revised plans for the courthouse building went to tender. A contract was awarded to the construction firm of McDonald, Wilson and Snyder for, get this, $400,000. Clearing of the ground commenced in 1906. The construction of the building was undertaken between 1906 and 1911. The new courthouse had facilities for the BC Court of Appeal, the Supreme Court of British Columbia and the County Court of Vancouver, as well as for various government offices. On October 19, 1911, the Court of Appeal began hearing cases in uh, the new courthouse just opened in Vancouver. The granite that was used in the construction of both buildings and the two stone lions on the front steps was quarried from Hardy Island, uh, which is nearby to Nelson Island, just at the north end of the Seashell Peninsula, the entrance to Jarvis Inlet. Each of the stone lions, plus its base, weighs about 15 tons. During the course of constructing this building, the courthouse was already believed to be too small. As a result, a further wing, the West Wing or the Robson Street Wing, was designed by another architect, Thomas Hooper. The contractors for the Robson Street Wing were the same contractors as those who constructed the main building. Construction of the Robson Street Wing commenced before the main building was completed. And that is Robson and Hornby. The Robson Wing has preserved two of the original courtrooms with some of the original woodwork. The original Court of Appeal room is now what we call the Heritage Courtroom located in the current courthouse. The courts occupied this building from 1910 until 1978, some 68 years, and by then, of course, it was woefully inadequate and the new courthouse at 800 Smythe Street was opened. In 1978, Nathan Nemetz was the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. He said that the new courthouse at 800 Smythe would be adequate for the court's needs until 1995, about 15 years after its completion. Nathan Nemetz had great foresight, and the courts have quickly outgrown this new building. We've been using parts of the building never intended for the purpose. 12 of the court's 24 judges have their offices in uh, what we call the bridge over Smythe Street. 
there's a water feature on top of that bridge. We call it Lake Nemetz. It leaks. <laughs> the Court of Appeal Registry has had to move from the new building as well into other space on the north side of Smythe. And uh, of course, the existing courtrooms are not designed for the new electronic technology that will soon make appeal proceedings more efficient and less expensive. Now, as I'm sure you all know, the art gallery hopes to find a new home. Should that occur, I suggest no better use for 800 West Georgia Street can be found than its restoration as a courthouse that will accommodate the Court of Appeal and perhaps other legally related enterprises. Restoration of this historic building as a courthouse will serve to revitalize the 800 block West Georgia Street as a hub of activity that will link the existing law courts building with the city's proposed cultural precinct along Georgia Street. The restoration would serve to clean up and to animate the open space in front of the building on Georgia Street and to restore it to the place of beauty and serenity that it once was. I don't know if you walk by there, but what is now extensively covered in pavement and used as a repository for tents, trailers, trucks, and transient exhibitions could again become an inviting garden and open public space that would engage visitors and draw them to the heart of our city. An open green space there would underline Vancouver's commitment to the beauty of the natural world that surrounds us. A group of lawyers styling themselves the Friends of the Old Courthouse has been working towards this goal for the past several years. Beyond meeting the needs of the court for more space, reclamation of the courthouse as a courthouse will serve a more important function. It will restore and preserve this beautiful heritage building for a purpose, in a form, and in a dignified setting worthy of its origins. The Rattenbury Courthouse is an important part of BC's legal history. It has been, and again can be, a symbol of law and of the rule of law, with ancient roots and a proud history in our free and democratic society. At a time when consideration is being given to the best role of this historic building, as and when the present occupant leaves, I commend to you the proposition developed by the Friends of the Old Courthouse. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Thank you.